Good morning, people. Today we're going to talk about securing the bag. And we're going to talk about success, getting money, and building stuff. The last few videos was to tone you up and throw some body blows and to get you to start thinking because <clears throat> how you culturally look at something is how it manifests in your life. And black folks have a way of creating a cool dynamic, securing the bag, getting the bag. And there's all this language, like let's take Omni and the Hellcat. Omni and the Hellcat had quote, secured the bag. He had money, he was buying, you know, nice cars, nice homes, he was always out and he was living that life, but there was no information on how he got the money. It slowly filtered out that he was doing IPTV and he was doing some copyright infringements. So he secured the bag by legal means. But in the black community, as long as you secure the bag, it's all good. It doesn't really matter how you secure the bag. And a prime example of this fact, this fact, when I was a kid, girls would not date drug dealers. Girls would not date drug bad, bad boys. Now, name one drug dealer that has a problem finding a woman. Name one. It doesn't matter. He's like, he secured the bag. He's got the money. I'm going to be with him regardless of how he gets that money. We're going to secure the bag. Another example, Real Housewives of Atlanta, which I think is a toxic show. They just sit around, go to parties, drink and stuff, and they live these fabulous lives, but nobody's working. Nobody's working. How do you make this money? And I forget her name. She used to be married to the football player. She's a little, somewhat muscular. There used to be these jokes that she kind of looked like a man because she had muscles. Uh, she started the business and it literally went out of business because she didn't know how to run the business. Uh, Share or whatever her name is. She was one of those real housewives of Atlanta women. And one of the things <clears throat> that we gotta do to get money is to provide service to people. And <clears throat> I, I've talked about this and I've talked about it and I've talked about this. Rent seeking. Rent seeking is securing the bag, getting the money by any means necessary and without working. This is one of the cultural norms that's going on right now. This is why everyone's trying to be a day trader. This is why everyone's trying to do Forex. You know, bump creating a website and selling a product. I don't want to do all that. I just want to get pure money, secure the bag, and do what I want to do. And it's problematic because if you look at all of the great fortunes, Apple, they create a product and they sell it to people, they serve people. Tesla, they create a product, they serve people. Amazon, if Amazon.com, they sell people products. If you look at all of the great fortunes, there is a similar component. There is no one just out trying to secure the bag. And one of the things I've looked at, and this is one of the things I, I don't think I've shared with y'all, is I've looked at how people got rich. You wanna know how to become a billionaire? You've gotta create a product or service that serves millions of people. That's how you become a billionaire. You're not gonna become a billionaire, but like, I'm gonna become a billionaire in five years, just saying it. There's this dude here on YouTube, Wesley Billionaire Virgin, he, he's always talking this game. He's always showing his cars. He's always talking about, I'm a millionaire, I'm all, but he never breaks down what he does to get money or how he does it to get money. And there's this thing that's called, um, if you're on the online space, you know that a lot of people, and this is something that is really true, even with my courses, a lot of people will buy your course and never do it. They'll just buy it, do it for a week, and then forget about it. They'll never ask for a refund. <clears throat> they'll, they'll just go ahead, play with it for a minute. And this was including people who bought the amazing selling machine, which is an Amazon FBA course, which did $120 million, I think, thus far. 
they would spend five to twenty thousand dollars for this course and get into the course and find out it was too complex it was too hard and they would just stop doing it so this is something that a lot of well veteran online course creators know and you got a bunch of people who are literally just putting out garbage because they know that the majority of folks who buy their products are not going to do anything with it facts <clears throat> so this is one of the reasons that you have so many internet marketers with these $1,000 to $5,000 programs because they need to be $1,000 to $5,000 to pay for the marketing. Because if it costs you $500 to get one sale and you got a $1,000 product, you're good to go. You just made $500. You spent $500, you made $1,000. The math works, but the math doesn't work for smaller, cheaper courses. But going back to creating wealth in quote, securing the bag. Cause you know, securing the bag, I kind of hate that term because it leaves so many things out about the building wealth. Like how I got wealthy. I created a product and I serve people. Each time that I was making above average income or a lot of money or seven figures a year, I was serving people. But this whole notion, cause you know, like, uh, there's this girl, she's got a course that a lot of people seem to be having success for Forex. I don't really know what Forex is cause I've never, never even played around with Forex because my mentality is this is what you do to make money. Now I may become open to Forex in the future, but right now I'm going to stick with what I know makes me money versus going over here hoping to make money. And another thing that I've seen with the Forex crowd, love the people who will show their accounts, because this is the thing, there were people who will be talking about Forex, but they will never show their account. And there was this one girl, she made $30,000 in three hours, and she showed her account, and she had six-figure account. I feel that's going to be the norm. For the folks who are making these big, big payouts, they're going to have larger accounts, which means that they were doing something to get that money to create that large account. But this is, you know, this, this whole securing the bag conversation, it bothers me because we're not talking about the methodology of making money. And this is how so many people get screwed. This is how so many people get misled. This is how so many people actually get into a situation where they're losing money. Let's take Bitcoin. Right now, I think Bitcoin's moving toward 12,000 if it's not at 12,000. And I've had many, many people on this YouTube channel come after me because I've said, do not invest in Bitcoin. Do this instead. See, the, the conversation has been not, don't, go out and you know start a business if you start a business that makes you 500 dollars per month that's going to be a better investment for the average person than buying some funky bitcoin unless you got in bitcoin a long time ago when bitcoin was like 80 cents you know something like that and you held on to it and at that point but bitcoin is rent seeking you buy some bitcoin you hold on to it you hope it appreciates you sell it so you can quote secure the bag and th this is one of the reasons that so many people don't have any money 75 percent of the people in this country could not come up with two thousand dollars cash in 30 days 75 percent of the people in this country we have a population of 330 million people that's over 200 and 75 million people who can't come up with two thousand dollars so you gotta understand how a lot of this stuff is set up and designed to market to you knowing that the fact that you're desperate knowing that the fact that you don't have good money management skills like the whole thing with bitcoin uh i saw this post on facebook that was very very disturbing this guy was about to have a negative bank balance. He wanted to take that money and invest it in Bitcoin. Now, the fact that he had a negative bank balance tells me he did not have a emergency fund, a long-term emergency fund, short-term emergency fund, a family operating account, and he wasn't debt-free. That, that told me a lot about this individual. And so many people are trying to get into these esoteric investments 
and make massive returns. Here is the rule of investing. If it has an extremely high return, more than likely it's gonna have very high risk. And what the high risk is that if you have a very high ret risk return, you have a chance of losing all of your money. That is the price you pay for the, the, op the opportunity to get that investment. And you know, it, it is crazy because America is financially ignorant. Like I have a video on Savage Finance talking about why I pay cash for cars. There are many videos here on YouTube that will tell you to go finance a car because actually paying more for the car than you have to is better than paying cash. Everything I put on Savage Finance is rooted in math. If you go ahead and pay cash for a car, you will pay less money than if you finance, even if you get a super low interest rate. Even if you have a super low interest rate on a mortgage, let's say you have a $150,000 house and you get a 3.2% interest rate on the mortgage. At the conclusion of that mortgage, you're gonna pay 300 and something, $30,000. You're gonna pay double for that house. Men lie, women lie, math doesn't lie. Uh, on that video, someone was like, is this a shot at Richard? It's a shot at anyone that is telling you that it is better to finance a car. Because remember, what did I just tell you? 75% of the people could not come up with $2,000, which means more than likely 90% of the country is not playing the, I'm gonna finance, I'm gonna put this money over the finance, I'm gonna leave some money over here in the market because the yields that I get from the market are going to offset the interest that I pay over here. And once you start crunching the math, because the average person is only getting 6%. So if you go out and you finance a car and you leave your money in the market and you get 6%, but you're paying three to 4% interest, you're only netting like one or 2% to the positive. That's not a lot of money. Cause you know, I, I, I'm going to do uh, how to start a dividend investment portfolio at Savage Finance because Savage Finance is about money, credit, investing, and starting businesses. I'm going to touch on all that. But when I hear that you have to have a million dollars invested in dividend stock to get $50,000 dividends per year, I am not impressed. I'm like, wait a minute. So you got to have a million dollars. So if you want to have $150,000 in dividends and all dividends are not the same because you're going to need a dividend of like 5% and many of these dividend stocks don't pay 5%. Uh, I, I saw a guy, he did a post. I, I can't fact check it because he's like, if I had, had sold my Apple stock, it'd be worth 17 million and I get $137,000 dividend Per, per year. And I'm like, wait a minute, you got 17 million. That money ain't working really hard. It ain't working hard at all. Like, so you would have to have $3 million in dividend stock to get $150,000 a year in dividends. So let's go ahead and like, it would take 30 years for that dividend stock to pay for itself. That, you know, like, like I'm all in about the math. I'm all about the math and I'm looking at how this stuff works out. And, you know, I'm gonna do the dividend stock because a lot of people, because, you know, there are YouTube channels that talk about, oh, dividend stocks, I'm, I'm getting these juicy dividends. And the whole premise is I'm getting money that I don't have to work for. That is problematic because I got a video that's coming up on Savage Finance that's gonna talk about how active income kicks passive income in the ass. And there are so many people who are trying to secure the bag, not work. This is a problem. <clears throat> and you know, I put up a video and talking about these folks didn't want to work. You know, let's go way back a few months ago when the CARES Act came out and they told me that there was a $600 per week on unemployment boost. What did I say? I said, people are going to clown that it's gonna be more people, it's gonna be more money than most folks made, 
And it was where a lot of folks and the employers were like, hey, I got this PPP loan, let's come back to work. And the employees were like, I don't wanna come back to work because I lose money. $2,600 per month was more money uh, with the additional unemployment benefit was more money than a lot of these folks ever made in their lives. And they didn't have to work. See, let me explain to you what happens when you tell someone that you can get this benefit because you're entitled to it. Let's take a woman who is married to a rich man. She married this rich man and he has a business and she has not lifted a fingernail to help him with this business. And when she gets divorced and many women know this going into the marriage, they know that at some point they decide to leave, they can leave with assets that they did not earn because it is on the books, it is law. And they've been told that. And this is why, cause I'm gonna do a video for um, life in black and white on how to execute a prenup. This is why a lot of women don't want to sign prenups. It's like, yeah, I love you. We're all in love and everything and it's all happy, but I don't want to give up my option to financially rob you of things that you did not earn, that I did not earn. I don't want to give that right up. No, 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 no. Many women have a very curious relationship between their time spent with you and your money. It's a very, very curious relationship. But essentially when you tell somebody that, hey, you can get this benefit, it's on the books, it's law, oh my God. They, you know, this whole notion, because one of the things I'm, I'm trying to push and educate you guys on is you got to work. I don't know how many ways I can say it, because this whole business, like, you know, the videos on Savage Finance, like um, many channels grow because a lot of people wanna go out and get these high limit credit cards that they can't use. There's a guy on YouTube, he's got like $157,000 in credit cards. He's a captain in the, in the Air Force. He could not utilize that $150,000 credit limit and pay it back because he doesn't make enough money. And once again, uh, I got a video coming up talking about poor people economics, rich people economics. I, I recently polled a lot of my wealthy friends and I asked them like, hey, did you pay cash for your car or did you uh, finance your car? 75% uh, of them paid cash for the cars and the ones who financed and leased did it in their businesses. And there were a few who just did it because they wanted a lease because they were going to they wanted to be able to trade the car in and out without little hassle. But the majority of them pay cash for cars. Here on YouTube, you have people who are telling you that it is better to finance a car, AKA spend more money than to pay cash and play these financial games that most of America can't play. Most of America cannot play these financial games. Most of America is not in a position to play these games. And I even have some financially illiterate people on this channel like, well, you know, well, Bitcoin, he's telling people to avoid Bitcoin. You know, people go miss out. You don't have an emergency fund. You don't have any cash in the bank, but you're trying to buy some Bitcoin because you're hoping for massive appreciation. You're hoping what happened in 2017 happens again. That is not, hope is not a good financial plan, my friends. It is not a good financial plan. And all of this securing the bag and getting money you know, like I said, you know, Swaggy C, he's a Forex trader. I've not seen him, you know, we know he's a Forex trader, but we don't actually see him trade. Once again, you know, like I said, you know, he says he's a millionaire, I take him at his word. You know, I don't know, I'm not his account. He's a millionaire. But one of the things I know about money, and one of the things I understand about wealth and development, if you serve people, AKA get up off your ass and work, your chances of becoming a wealthy dramatically go up. But Forex, day trading, rent seeking scams, anything that absorbs you and removes you from having to work. Like my retirement plan, I, I'm not looking for passive income. Oh, passive income. 
oh man, give me some passive income. You know, uh, the year I was consulting and I had four clients that were paying me $50,000 per month, I had passive income of $107,000 that year. 107. So by actively working, I made $97,000 per month more than I made in a year than sitting around waiting and hoping for, cause I wasn't, I was really focused on consulting. I wasn't really pushing the course and the courses were in the YouTube description box. And that's how that those passive sales happened. That was 107 in passive income. I'm not impressed. I mean, if I was willing to burden myself with work, like I'm saying, there's so many of you out there who are trying not to work any scheme, scam. You're trying, just not trying to work. Just, just refuse to. And here's the, the really pernicious part of this. Because you know there are methods out there where you don't have to work, because I will admit there are extremely successful Forex traders. There's extremely successful day traders. My research has indicated that all these people who were being honest as they were learning to become successful, they took huge and heavy losses for years. This is why I like Swaggy C. He said it took him five years to learn how to do Forex. Five years. Five years of losses. Five years. And you know, I got people who come in here like, hey, Forex is great. You should try it. I'm like, why do I want to lose five years when I can do what I do and make money right now? Once again, you know, I, I speak to a lot of financially illiterate people who don't know how money works, how to make money. If you want to become a millionaire, if you create a product or service that serves people, your chances of becoming a millionaire are much greater than you trying to become a millionaire off of Forex or day trading or Bitcoin. It, it's just, it's in the math. It's once again, it's in the math. So what I want you to do is to tell yourself that I'm going to be rich but I'm gonna work. Just get that in your head. Get it in your head that you have to work. And you're gonna be so much better off and it's gonna be so much quicker because right now there are so many people wasting time on Forex, they're wasting time on Bitcoin, they're wasting time on day trading, they're wasting time on all these scams and they're losing time and opportunity because they're not learning how to be a technician, learning how to be a craft. Like right now, I know how to, you know, cause I do the work. I know how to create a YouTube channel. Like with disruptive mail, the channel was extremely small. 3000 subscribers. I was making 14, $15,000 a month. Much more money than if I was investing in Forex or all this other stuff. So I'm going to stick with serving people versus these, these alternative methods of enriching myself without serving people. But you got to work. So with that, go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for sex. Go ahead and get that. And do the work and put some coins in your pocket. Do that. And also go below and sign up for the Oxygen Banking app. This is where you're going to move your 30 days to $2,500 money. You're gonna move that money into that oxygen because you're not gonna throw it into your general budget and you sign up for the oxygen app. I get 25 bucks, you use that referral link. You get 25 bucks once you fund the account to $200 and you use the debit card five times. So that's all I got for you. L I, let's, let's get rid of that term, secure in the bag. And let's create a new term. Let's generate, let's get busy, let's do the work and make some money. Okay?